All right, exercise tempos, what they are in resistance training and why you should get them into your training regimen. So I shared a video today where I was playing with some exercise tempos in the workout. And I know some people are probably like, what is she talking about? Five, zero, five, zero, <laughs> all these different numbers. So real quick recap, in case you don't know how this works, when you're doing resistance training and you see that an exercise is specified with this little four digit number thing, the way it works is the first number that you see is how many counts are for the lowering or easy or eccentric part of an exercise. So for example, it might not always be lowering, right? But typically it is um, the easier part. So if it's in a squat, right, it's that's the coming down. So if I have a three as the first number, I'm gonna go down for a count of three. I'm gonna use a squat as an example. So it's gonna be one, two, three. The second number is how long you stay in that uh, bottom position. So that one's going to be, let's say it's zero. I'm not going to sit down there at all on this one. The next one is how long you spent, you how many counts on the concentric or the hard part of the lift, right? So that third number is the hard part of the lift. And so let's say I'm doing one, right? So I'm going to go down two, three, one. And let's say the number at the top is zero. So I've got a three, zero, one, zero on a squat. That's going to be down two, three, no time at the bottom one. No time at the top either. That means you're going to be like, boom, boom. So when you see zeros, it's like this, right? Let's say it was a two, one, two, one. Okay, try to play with that in your mind. That's going to be down for two, hold down there in the bottom for one, up for two, pause at the top, which normally I probably wouldn't do that on a squat, but if we're going really heavy for super strength, maybe, right? Okay, so that's how the tempos work. Why use them? Oh, um, because they changed the game. They completely changed the stimulus of an exercise. So if I want a client to work on strength, right? We're going through a strength phase. Strength, you guys understand that strength is different than muscle size, right? Strength is how fast you can fire your neurons and, and push yourself out of that, right? So if I want somebody to go for strength on a squat, I'm probably going to have, I mean, depending on how heavy it is, but I'm probably going to have them go up for one. Okay, let's use a biceps curl for an example now. If I want straight hypertrophy, which is muscle growth, I usually want more time under tension. You guys hear about this, right? So I might go three, zero, three, zero, right? I just want a lot of time working that baby through the range of motion, okay? So you can play with these yourself, right? Like let's say you always do overhead presses, shoulder, you know, you're sitting on a bench, you're doing overhead presses with the dumbbells, very typical shoulder exercise, right? You can completely change the stimulus of that exercise by doing a up for one and then a slow eccentric, up for one, slow eccentric, or maybe you're gonna go up for five, down for five. Do you see how much more time under tension that's gonna be for muscle growth instead of just going eh, mm, Mm -mm. See what I mean? So it totally changes the game. So you can use the same basic exercises that work that we've been using forever, but you can change the stimulus by changing the tempos. So that is why I have all different kinds of exercise tempos in my clients programming. Yeah, they get a exercise tempos a lot. Sometimes I want them to just do a natural rhythm, right? So I don't, but that is a really, really powerful way to change the stimulus that you're getting from your training. So just wanted to share that in case you haven't used exercise tempos or you see these little two, one, two, one, and you're like, what the heck does that mean? That's what that means. If you missed the end of this and you're joining live, I'll post this now and you can see the beginning on how exercise tempos work and make sure you're using them in your training because they're a very, very powerful variable in training that can completely change the results that you get from the same exercise. Okay, bye.